different shootings just hours apart. Thanks for joining us, everyone. I'm Alex Coleman. And I'm April Thompson. One man was killed while four others were injured. WRAG's Jessica Knox has the details. 48 markers littered the ground here on Durham Avenue early Tuesday morning. This blue home behind me is left riddled with bullet holes after a deadly shooting. She called me. It's a religious shot in my house. So I said, oh, that's old Lord. According to this relative who does not want to be identified, her grandson was grazed in the lead by a bullet and her 81-year-old brother-in-law was killed. Wow, they shot an 81-year-old dude. Wow. Nobody's safe. Doesn't matter your age. That happened a lot in Memphis, though. We've done several stories of 80-year-old people getting shot in Memphis. Several. And was grazed in the lead by a bullet, and her 81-year-old brother-in-law was killed. He's a nice person. He don't bother nobody. A sweet guy. He was sickly. He had gotten sickly. So he really couldn't get around that good. And uh, he was quiet, real quiet. Unfortunately, this wasn't the only shooting Tuesday morning. Memphis police tell us a silver Dodge Charger and two victims in a silver Chevrolet Impala exchanged gunfire, leaving more than 75 shell casings Jeez. at the Shell gas station on Range Line. Two males were rushed to Regional One Hospital in critical condition. Another shooting happened on St. Elmo Avenue. Memphis police say one man is in critical condition. They believe there was a verbal altercation between the suspect and the victim who knew each other. Something got to stop. There's something that has got to stop. In four hours, one person is dead, three people are in critical condition, and another person is expected to be okay after three separate shootings in Frazier. Your dad told you to get one, but he heard you were moving to Memphis. Yeah, he said, boy, you better get a gun. Wow. Reporting for your news leader in Frazier, I'm Jessica Knox, WREG News Channel 3. Yeah, we've done this story so many times in Memphis where um, an 80-year-old 80-year-old person gets gets murdered, man. We did this story so many times, man. Um, it happens so I, often. I, I, I like how they read the story out. So, I was like, so as a matter of fact, no emotions. Just They just tell the story. You know what I mean? Time now is 623 and today's... Yeah, yeah, definitely. Time now is 623 and today's manhunt Monday, an elderly woman shot in the back and her killer still on the loose. Now her family is pleading for anyone who may have answers to come... This was nine months ago in Memphis. ...forward to help them get some sort of closure. WREG's anchor Greg Hurst reports. Somebody's housing a murderer. Somebody's feeding a murderer here in Brownsville, Tennessee. We have a murderer walking around Brownsville, Tennessee in our community, and we need to bring him to justice. Brownsville Police Chief Kelvin Evans won't rest until someone is behind bars for killing 81-year-old Warlene Turner Jones, affectionately known as Sis. Evans says the shooting happened August 1st, shortly before 10 p.m. on North Monroe Street. Evans says Sis called 911 saying she had been shot and needed help. I didn't expect what I heard, but I mean, it was basically, you know, her pleading for help, you know, and her being the religious woman praying while she was doing it. Evans says Sis was sitting in the back of her house when someone walked up and shot her. He says she was hit four times and still managed to get to the front door and unlock it for paramedics. Evans says Sis was still alert and talking when paramedics first arrived. Angela Jones is Sis's daughter. Who would want to do this to an elderly lady who loved her community, <laughs> um, who loved people? When Jones heard about the shooting, she rushed to her mother's home. I said, that's my mother. I said, I just want her to know that I'm here. Uh, she's not by herself. Sis was taken to the hospital, but sadly, she did not survive. Brownsville police say several people have been questioned but no one charged. For anyone to target that house would have to know Miss Sis. You have to know where she would be seated in that house. And yeah, I, I do believe it was someone from Brownsville that knew her and targeted that house. 
Tennessee Governor Bill Lee announced a $10,000 reward for information leading to an arrest and conviction. If you know who killed Warlene Sis Turner Jones, you're urged to call the TBI at 800 TBI Find. Your tip could help put a dangerous criminal behind bars and $10,000 cash in your pocket. Remember, all calls are confidential. Good luck. Well, do the right thing. Hey, folks, if you have a story you would like for us to profile on man. So, yeah, several 80 year olds have been killed in Memphis this year. I mean, shot down, gunned down in the street. I got to give credit where it's due. Like, these song words are very good at ruining people's lives. I'm telling you, man. Neighbors. What's up, man? What's going on? What's going on, my guy? What's up, my guy? What's new, man? Same old shit, same old shit, just working. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, man. This is this is this is a lot of 80 year olds, a lot of 80 year olds getting killed, man. It was another 80 year old that got killed recently in Memphis. I can't find the story right now. Um, but uh it is another an 80 year old person was shot by some thugs last night in um in um Texas, like sons is Hell on 80 year olds. You heard man, me? I'm eight eight old people. A violent night in the <laughs> yeah. Frazier area. As police it's like, are... it's unbelievable, man, how often we shoot 80 year olds. It's like, you imagine... how do you shoot an 80 year old? Yeah, can you imagine that thought process as, you, as you're about to and you do it and then after? It's got to be a hell of a fucking, you know, thought process. Oh. Well, we don't discriminate. We don't discriminate, you know. True, true. After you do this next segment, I, I'm going I'm to I'm put y'all D to something that I come across in the southern states. You want me to speak about it now? Yeah, go All ahead. right, so my cousin, my cousin, he, he owns he owns an in business 